lot of people can agree that the Android operating system is pretty awesome. Not only it is great to use, but it is also free as an open source, so that it can be modified by anyone and that is the reason why custom ROMs exist. Now, after Google released its newer version of Android, that is Android Oreo, I was pretty excited to try that out on my device as it brings lots of newly added features to the table. But after a long waiting, there is no official word from the manufacturer that when they are going to provide the update, which was really disappointing for me and I'm also pretty sure that most of you guys who are watching this video feels the same way. Now, I am a very impatient kind of person and can't wait that long, so I decided to install Android Oreo on my device manually. And that's exactly what I am going to show you guys in this video. By following this method, you can install the latest Android Oreo on almost any Android device that is supported by the developers. Excited? So let's get started. Before we get started, if you guys will find this video useful, then do consider subscribing and press the bell icon so that you get notified for our future videos. Now the prerequisites are, first, your bootloader should be unlocked. Now for those who don't know what that is, every Android phone that is available in the market comes with a locked bootloader. And if you want to install a custom ROM in order to update your device to the latest Android version, first you need to unlock it, which is actually quite simple. If you don't have an unlocked bootloader, then you can simply search for a tutorial video over YouTube. Second, you should have a custom recovery like TWRP recovery, which is one of the best out there. Again, this is not pre-installed on your Android, but you can easily install it by following some simple steps. If in case folks, you don't know how to install TWRP recovery, then I'll be leaving some video links in the description down below, so do check out. Now with that being said, in order to update our Android devices to the latest Android Oreo, we will be installing a custom ROM as nowadays most of Android devices from mid-range to flagship do have a custom ROM support. So to do that, you will be needing two files. The first one is the ROM zip file and the second one is the gapps package. First talking about the ROM zip file which will update your device to the latest Android version and the gapps will provide the basic Google apps which are not pre-installed on most of the custom ROMs. So the first thing that we have to do is to find a stable available Oreo ROM for our specific device and it's really simple. I guess most of you guys already know where to look for. But in case if you are not able to find right custom ROM for your device or you are a little bit confused then let me show you how. Just go to Google and type the name of your device. In my case I have a Redmi Note 4, yours could be any other device. So type the name of your device and add XDA as a suffix. This will basically take you to the official ROM development page of XDA forums, which has the largest collection of informations regarding custom ROMs, kernels and mods of any Android device. From here, you have to open this page which says ROMs, kernel and recoveries. This will take you to the official development page of your device and from here, you can choose from lots of different ROMs which are available for your device. You can go through from different threads to find a stable Android Oreo build for your device. Once you find a stable build, download the ROM zip file and put it in the internal memory of your device. After that, the next file which you will be needing is the gapps, which will basically install Google Apps on your device because as I told you earlier, Google Apps are not included in the ROM zip file in most of the custom ROMs. So again, download the gapps package from the description down below and put it in the internal memory of your device. Now at this point, I guess you guys have already unlocked the bootloader and installed the TWRP recovery on your Android devices. If not, pause this video right here and first do that. So after successfully unlocking the bootloader and installing the TWRP recovery, your 90% work is done. Now boot your device into TWRP recovery and for that, first you have to switch off your device. Now in order to boot into TWRP recovery, you have to use a special combination of hardware keys which usually include power buttons and volume rockers and it varies according to the device manufacturer. So in case if you don't know your device combination to boot into recovery, then just google it. For instance, I am using a Redmi Note 4 in this video, which is a device from Xiaomi. So I will google how to boot into recovery mode in Xiaomi. And here is the key combination. So that's how you can find the key combination to boot into recovery of your specific device. Now once you have booted into TWRP recovery, your screen will look something like this. The first thing which I always recommend to do is to make a backup of your current ROM because in case you don't like the ROM or you want to go back to your stock ROM, then you can simply go to restore section and from there you can restore the previous ROM. It's quite simple, right? 
So after backup is done, go back and click on wipe, then advanced wipe. From here, select Delvic system data cache and swipe this blue button to right. This will basically wipe the system partition and make your device ready for ROM installation. So after making the backup, go back and click on install. Then navigate the ROM zip file which we downloaded earlier and select it. After that, click on add more zip and select the gapps package. Make sure to select the ROM zip file first, then the gapps package, otherwise your ROM will not install and you may end up breaking your device. After selecting both the files in right order, swipe this blue button to right to flash the ROM. It will take approximately 5 to 10 minutes to flash the ROM, depending on your device. In most of the flagship device, it will take only 3 to 5 minutes, but in case of mid-range device, this could be anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes. Once the installation is finished, reboot your device. Now again, the first boot will take more time than the normal, so just grab a cup of coffee and relax. Now after the boot is finished, you have successfully upgraded your device to the latest version of Android that is Android Oreo. So now just complete the setup process and enjoy the new flavor of Android with some new features which are waiting for you to try out. Now with this new update, you will get the exclusive Android Oreo features like the new simplified setting menu, which strongly focuses on simplicity and now the menus are more sorted. There are 13 main headings with short descriptions of what's inside. The overall color scheme has a black and white approach with blue essence and personally, I like the redesign menu. Additionally, there are lots of new features like the new lock screen shortcut, hi-fi Bluetooth audio codec, notification channel and much more. I had already made couple of videos on new features of Android Oreo which you can watch. I will leave the link for those videos in the description down below. So that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do, then do consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.